Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabella and today we're going to do the portals look and to just get into it I'm just going to start listing off all the products I use and to start off we have the Sunset Pink Foundation um, The Maybelline Eraser Concealer The Elf Camo Concealer in the hydrating version The LA Girl Pro Concealer hydrating as well And then we have the Maybelline Ultimate um, lipstick in red and then I have the glow play Mac um, lip balm an EOS lip balm just just in case and then I like to use three different types of mascara and so I have the benefit roller lash the Too Faced better than mascara and then the elf Lash Beats Defining and Lengthening Mascara. I also will be using False Lashes, which I accidentally listed differently on the Community tab, but this one is the Kiss um, Bear Affair, and I'll be using four of them. And I'll be using also the Kiss um, Lash Adhesive, a Beauty Blender, and then I also have a matte NYX eyeliner, a NYX professional matte um, lip liner, a ColourPop white eyeliner, a putty blush, a flawless filter, just loose powder. Then I have Ashley Strong from um, the next top influencer or next instant influencer and this is what it looks like it's amazing i love this palette and i love her then i have just this helen beauty um palette with all these colors and i'll list off the colors i use whenever it comes to using them and i also have a couple brushes these are a um, Sephora pack and it just has some basic like packing a mini packer a um, I don't even know actually and <laughs> there's no label on mine anymore and then I have a fluffy brush and a brow liner one gosh that music is so loud anyways and then I have a lash curler so to start off I'm gonna use some lotion on my face good amount because I've got eczema which many people on here might have I know it's really common but for this foundation they recommend hydrating your face and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna bring it down here especially for the outfit and as well as my ears so I'm gonna put the foundation on the back of my hand just a couple pumps because a little bit of this foundation goes a long way. All right, now I've dampened my beauty blender and I'm just gonna dab it onto a little piece on the back of my hand. And you're just gonna go in like you normally would with any foundation. All right, I've changed angles, but I'm just dabbing it in just a little thin layer. And you wanna get that everywhere that you can. All right, so I look a little crazy right now, but I did grab another brush, and this one is the e.l.f. bronzing brush. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna go in my ear, and it's a little uncomfortable because it's pretty cold. Um, and then I'm just gonna start dragging it down my neck just to get that first layer down, as well as the other one. And you wanna take this and kind of go into your hairline and as you can see mine is 100% pulled back besides my little wispies and I'll see you guys after I finish this base all the way down here all right so right now I'm bringing it down in a triangular shape and I'm just doing circular motions around my neck and this area all right so now I'm just taking my mini beauty blender and I'm just dabbing it all in all around my face making sure it's all smooth so when we go into the concealer we don't have to blend any more thick creases into our skin and we can just blend it into the piece. 
All right, so now I'm taking my Maybelline eraser stick and I'm gonna go in and tone down some of this pink in a couple areas such as these. And then I'm going to take my lightest color, just a tiny bit, and I'm gonna go into the creases right there and right here. And what you're gonna want to do, you're gonna wanna go in and blend these to all high heaven. You want it to not be it's a standalone color, but you want it to tone down and kind of make it like our own skin tone. Okay, just for a closer look, this is exactly what I'm doing. Just little tiny motions, just like that. As you can see, the base is pretty smooth right now. And so we're gonna go in with powder right now. All right, so I have now a larger brush, it's called a powder brush. I'm not sure what the brand is, but you're gonna take this dense, fluffy brush and your powder, and you're gonna wanna go in pretty heavy and just kind of like dab it all over your face. You're gonna wanna do that on your neck as well. All right, so I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush and this palette. So for me, I'm gonna use this shade and this shade, a light mixture of the two. And we're gonna go in through the cheekbones all the way to the mouth. All right, and then we're gonna take on the fluffy brush, we're gonna take this one deep into the crevice, the crevice of the cheekbone that is very, um, I don't know what the word would be, but you can see it every single time she wears the mask. There's kind of like this crease that she has. And I'm gonna replicate it using the fluffy brush and this dark shade. All right, and you can see the dark outline on that side. And then I'm gonna take this under my nose and I'm gonna make my nose look way more petite than it is, because clearly I have a very prominent and strong nose. And then I'm going to take it, oops, lightly across the top. Thin brush gonna wipe that off really quick we're gonna take it again and now we're gonna sharpen that because she has a very like stubby and short nose it's kind of just this. all right well we're still doing the easy lower mouth parts you brighten that a little bit we are gonna take the lip liner and you're just gonna go along with your normal lip shape you're gonna want to drag it down about halfway through. Just like that. And then, you're gonna wanna give it two little spikes. Just like so. You're gonna wanna connect the same at the bottom. All right, and this should be the final result. And from there, make a faint line following your cupid's bow up to the tip of your nose. All right, next, Take the MAC Glow Play, if you have it. Take 
take whatever lipstick you have that is darker and deepen the inner crease. We are gonna take the, my makeup is like all strewn about. We're gonna take a compact brush just like this and with the same first color I used to diffuse this pink, I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna pack it right around here. And as you can tell, the creature has very wide set eyes, kind of similar to mine. And then I'm gonna take the darker pigment, put it right in the crease. And it's gonna look just like that. You wanna pack it in really good. to give that full like vibrant effect. And from this part, you're gonna repeat it on that side. All right, and now it should look like that. And then I will show you the palette again. And for the diffusing color to blend this all out, I'm gonna use this light pink shade. And you're gonna take that and just go around all the edges. And I say edges because you want to have that harsh crease. You want it to make your eyes kind of look like they're popping out of your head. Anyways, continue blending until it's soft and smooth, like so. Now from there, you're gonna pull down right here and you're just gonna fill in all this area. And repeat with the next eye. All right, from there, you're gonna take a eyebrow brush and you're gonna take this little tiny corner and go into the first pink you use. And you're just gonna to wanna to take it lightly on the corners. And so you have these um, like little fat pockets under your eyes. Some are bigger than others, like mine. You're gonna to wanna to like lightly drag it under, just like so. To give you that do I think it's called do young look that the creature also has. All right, so now we're going to do a light outline of the other creature's eyes as well. And we all know they're so big too. And my eyebrows aren't well covered. I personally don't know how to do that. So what I'm gonna do is pack on some more pink on top to see if we can cover that up. And if you know how to do that, just forget this step, but I'm gonna speed run through this now. All right, so now I have this brush. And then with the lightest pink you have, you're going to want to now outline the eyes. And this is all up to preference. I'm gonna try and replicate my eye shape. And I'm gonna do about this shape. That's about the same size as my eyes and her eyes at the top are a little bit wider set and they face outward. So consider that when drawing them. All right, so now you can faintly see these little eye shapes. And so what we're gonna do is take this white eyeliner again, and we're just gonna fill this in. All right, so I look a little bit goofy, but now we're gonna take that same eyeliner and we're going to want to 
make a slight waterline with it. And then we're gonna repeat exactly what we did to our eyes to the fake eyes. And now we're gonna take the black liner and lightly line all the way around. And I'll see you that next part because this is really difficult for me to do on camera. All right, and they don't need to be perfect. We're gonna put eyelashes on top, which will be the next step. All right, you're gonna wanna line the laces that you just went over with some lash glue and let that sit. I don't know why I struggled so much. I put these on all the time. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to add the eyes now. And for me, I'm gonna use this brown from the Ashley Strong. And I'm just gonna dab the color in just the way like the eyes face. And you're gonna do that to both sides. All right, and then again, I'm going to go in to add some um, shading to the top eye with the black. I'm just going to trace the top.
like so. And so now we're gonna take this for a nice highlight within the eyes. But we're gonna do a little bit of white on top to really add. So pink first, right in the center. All right, and to make the bottom pop more, like it's really a highlight, I'm gonna go in with an orange to complement the brown, like so. Take this white liner and do some like tribal markings around your face. And so I'm gonna do mine, hmm, start there. Yep, that's a good shape. And I'm just gonna feather it down. Then I'm gonna take it right there. I'm gonna take this and try to replicate it on the other side of my face to the best of my abilities. We are just going to add some freckles around our face because she has some little markings that kind of like are freckles just around the center of her face mostly. And then with my eyeliner, I'm going to tight line kind of just right from here to the eyelash and i will do that off camera okay and then now lashes for this little eye you can't see all of them of course oh my god i'm running out of eyeliner That didn't work how I wanted it to, but that's okay because I'm going to take this brush and this mascara, switch them out, and start applying mascara to my natural lashes. And as you can see, I'm terrible at putting lashes on for the camera. Anyways, you just want to go underneath and all around. Gosh, my voice crack is awful. All right. 
All right, so if you don't have access to objects like these that I've created, the egg, the ears, a rock, you can use a paper, pencil, scissors, and color pencils to create them. Or like we're gonna do right now is we're gonna create paper flowers to go in right, So I've done a couple variations and I'm gonna finish off with nine and color them in to match my outfit. Now for the flowers, you're gonna wanna get the eyelash glue out again and glue them to your hair, just however you want.